Let's talk about expense reports that don't suck. All of this, everything we've talked about so far up to this point in the course has been really for one ultimate purpose, maybe more than one, but one very primary ultimate purpose, which is that we want people to be able to easily and seamlessly submit expenses for reimbursement. And that happens when you submit an expense report. I remember when I used to work for the government and we would go on business trips, we would have to come back and submit reports for reimbursement. And it was extremely cumbersome. We had an electronic report that actually had to be printed out so that we could staple receipts to it. We had to fill it out by hand and then submit it. And it would take two to three weeks sometimes to get a check with, re with respect to our reimbursement. Nowadays, we have apps like Expensify that allow you to do everything we've shown you up until now as far as how to get and gather the information about your expenses, whether they be receipts, the mileage you need to track, the time you might need to track, so that you can get it into a report which can be submitted very quickly for a quick turnaround in terms of payment, except, of course, if you're Eric Greenspan and working with me then it takes forever to get reimbursed. But that's not because of Expensify, that's because of me. So kidding aside, we're gonna show you what this looks like and how easy it is for somebody to be able to take their expenses, submit them for reimbursement, and then actually get reimbursed. Creating an expense from the mobile app is pretty simple and straightforward. If you took the time to read the write-up that I did first, then you probably already have a very good idea about how this works. Down at the bottom in the mobile app, we're simply going to tap where it says reports. Once I go in there, you'll see that it has a, an open report, but this is actually from earlier. If I pull down and refresh, notice that report is gone. But you can see that if you do have open reports, they will appear here. Obviously, we can click new to create a new report. And now we're going to create that mobile app report. So let's type it out. Now, of course, you're going to name it with something a little more appropriate that describes what the purpose of the report is. It could be a trip you took. It could be that you submit your expenses every month and that time has come. Whatever the case is, as you can see, once you've created the report, that's all you've done is created a home uh, in which you're going to place the expenses. Now we're going to add expenses by simply tapping there where it says add expense. And then we're going to scroll down in the list and find the expenses that we want to add. Now, let's say we're looking specifically for expenses from January 7th. It's chronological, so here's effective virtual. Let me add theirs. I'm going to add another one. For Shell Oil. So now I've got two expenses to add. And let's say this is it and I just need to be reimbursed for these. Then I can click next. But notice that things are kind of lighting up in red. What this is telling me is that we have policy violations. And what that means is that when the admin had set up the policies for how expenses are to be submitted, we established certain criteria. For example, everything needs to get a category and everything needs to be assigned a tag, which in our case means it's being assigned to a, a, a job, a project. So that uh, these, the fact that these are lighting up in red indicates that we're in violation of one of those policies, or maybe all of them. So if we click Next from the mobile app, it's looking to actually submit the expenses. It means you're done. And it's, at, it's letting you know a category is out of policy. Are you sure you want to submit it? So probably a good idea at this point to say no, because it's not likely you're going to get reimbursed for that expense. Once we're back in the reports area, we can certainly tap on the name of the report to open it up and get access to the actual expenses. And then you can tap an expense and you can go in and you can edit it. For example, here the category is one of the things that's out of policy. So I can click on that and I can categorize it. Now, you know, here's the thing. With mobile apps, they're often more limited than what you have access to when you access this stuff in the browser. So you'll see in a minute when I sw switch over to the browser side how much easier it is to uh, deal with this stuff. But let's say this is, uh, and I see again, this is one of the problems. Now I'm in this screen. I can't remember what it was that I'm coding here. So this is a, an expense for a merchant called Effective Virtual. So I'm going to come in here and, you know, maybe it's uh, transportation, uh, you know, something like that. So I've got to scroll down and find it. So I'd much rather have something where I can type something in, and as you're going to see on the browser side, you can certainly do that. So, but either way, you can still, you can deal with these uh, issues through the mobile app very easily. Uh, and then, of course, I can click save once I'm done. And as you can see, I've got my little icon here if I wanted to attach a receipt. We're actually going to attach the receipt for this expense on the browser side because, again, it's just easier to do it from there. So I'm going to tap save. 
and of course I can correct shell oil the same way. But now let's switch over to the, the browser because obviously once these issues are corrected I can click next again and actually submit the report. But let's see what this looks like on the browser side. So we're gonna cancel the mobile app here and switch over. Okay, looking over here at the browser-based application, let's go over to reports and let's say we just want to kill this report. Let's just delete the whole thing. Get it out of there. Yes, I'm sure. And let's go here and let's create a new report. And we're going to call this Disneyland Trip. Okay, and then just hitting the tab key pretty much completes that. And now it's waiting for us to add expenses. And we can approach this a couple ways. As you can see, I can do it right from within here. Or I can come out to the expenses area. And this is what I'm talking about when I refer to the fact that in the mobile, in the browser uh, application, there's just better features that make it much more efficient to do what you need to do here. So, for example, if I know this trip was taken on January 7th, then I can filter the dates of the expenses to very quickly narrow it down to just those expenses that came from there. And then, boom, effective virtual. Notice as soon as I check something off, it brings up the list of open reports that I can add them to. And we're going to come down here and we're going to add Shell Oil to that. And that's it. So once I've got everything selected that I want to be able to add, then I come over here and I click over here to confirm that I'm adding it to this particular uh, open report. Click on that and they're in. And then I get back to my list with all the remaining expenses that have still remained to be added to a report. Let's go over to reports. There's my Disneyland trip expenses. And clicking over here, sure enough, I've got the uh, expenses in there. And you can see that I have policy violations. A little footnotes let me know that there's policy violations and that I'm missing a tag. So that again refers to the fact that the policies were set up by the admin, which was me in this case, uh, establishing that these things had to be uh, included. So notice also this says reimbursable zero. So let's click into an expense. First of all, we want to check off that it's reimbursable. Second of all, I can click, I can fix my uh, violations here. So this is effective virtual. Now I had changed it to transportation in the mobile app, if you recall. So that part's taken care of. Then over here I can code it to Expensify. And it's already telling me what report this has been uh, added to. So click Save, and that takes care of my policy violations. Then Shell Oil, uh, fuel or mileage is... Uh, not uh, one of the st actual allowed accounts. This is one of the standard accounts that came with Expensify, but over here we're going to use automobile expense, and that's here. And notice it lets you know that now you're 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 in policy here. And again, we need to code it to Expensify. And of course, you can put a comment here and so on. And we can save that. So now we've taken care of the policy violations. Uh, there's one other thing. Effective virtual doesn't have a receipt. So let's say I want to add the receipt, easy enough to do right from here. This is what I love about how smart this is, is now I can come over and I can click and drag and drop my receipt in. Boom, done. So now Effective Virtual's receipt is in there. Close that, and I'm pretty much done. The other thing that I want to show you here is what your options are here. Again, of course, I can add expenses from within here. Here I can edit expenses, so that'll take me into, you know, just a different view, you know, kind of a zoom in of the expenses. Then over here I can add attachments, so I can add an attachment to the report. Let's say I want to add mileage, right? I don't have mileage in here. I drove, let's say it was 100 miles, right? Now what's interesting is if I click to add expenses from here, uh, there's no option to uh, add mileage, right? This is only to add existing expenses. So in order to do this, what I have to do is go out to expenses here, and let's go new expense, and then distance. And, you know, the, some of the thinking behind this may be, very well be the fact that it's not likely that I'm going to uh, not have added the expenses from the mobile app by the time I get to this part. But nonetheless, if you need to, I can add in uh, 100 miles for my trip, and again, this is going to be travel, right? So we'll call it transportation, or actually this is going to be mileage. I have an account for that. And then again, we're coding everything to Expensify. And then down here, I can assign it right into that report. And that will add another uh, $56 to my expense report. So now let's go back to reports. And over here, 274.61. 
and now I've got everything here. So again, I get to review it. The other thing that's cool is if you go over here to options, you have different layouts. So I can break it down by group. So now I can see here's automobile expense, here's mileage, here's transportation. Or I can look at it in terms of a single table. I can also group it instead of by category, by tag. So everything here in this case is going to Expensify. And then I can go back to single table, at which point this part will make a difference in terms of how I see it across the top. So notice across the top when I click tag, it shows me the tag, everything's under Expensify. If I group it by category, then it puts a, each category in a different column and shows that. So again, really cool features, really smart features that let me quickly and easily pivot around the information and make sure that I've got what I need and everything's in place and ready ultimately for what to be submitted. So now we want to make sure that we've got everything marked as reimbursable. So let's go into effective virtual. That's marked as reimbursable. Shell oil needs to be marked. And then the mileage, of course, is going to be reimbursable. No question about that. Once you're satisfied that you've reviewed everything, you analyzed it, you have no more policy violations, then of course you can submit. If you decide for some reason you're never going to submit it, you can simply mark it as closed. But we're going to submit it, and notice when we submit it, we submit it to, and by default it comes up with the, the default approver for that person. So if you're an employee and you've been uh, assigned to somebody, and again we're going to go over this in the policy settings later in the course, then if you're an employee using this, then yours is going to go to whoever has been set up as the person you sort of uh, report to. And uh, you can certainly CC here. I would certainly uh, check off send me a copy, you know, whoever I am in the, in the organization, just to make sure you have a record of what was actually submitted. And it's interesting to note here that you can request to be paid by Bitcoin for reimbursed expenses. Uh, and then when you're ready, you click Submit. And that is the story. So now we're waiting on uh, final approval for the report. Now, in this case, I am the uh, approver as well. So in the next lesson, we're going to go over this. But in this lesson, we've now covered everything we need to cover in terms of how you organize, track, and manage your expenses and ultimately get them into a report and submit it to be approved for reimbursement. And then, of course, we can also download this into our accounting software if that's something we need to do. And that, my friends, is everything I can show you for now on reports with Expensify. As always, if you have any questions, post them in the accounting forum. That's available only to subscribe students of schoolofbookkeeping.com. And I look forward to seeing your questions, getting them, and answering them. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Now that you've seen how to submit expenses in the form of an electronic expense report, it's time to look at how to review and approve those expenses. Unless, of course, those expenses have been submitted by Eric Greenspan, in which case we'll delay as much as possible.